Steve, the Pirates coming off of a very strong performance at the Northwest Conference Swimming Championships. Uh, first, let's talk about the Whitworth women. Ended sure. up in fifth place uh, and quite a performance from Carly Hoff. Uh, take us back through the meet from the women's perspective. Yeah, you bet. Um, so we went into that meet and, um, you know, we're small in number this year. We have nine women. Uh, a full squad is 18. And uh, so we knew going into a championship format, every point was going to count. And uh, the women did phenomenal. If you look at what they were seated and what their best times were before they came into the meet and what they actually did at the meet, uh, they really were inspired. They swam really well and, um, you know, really banded together lots of new best times. And Carly led the charge on that. She uh, had three event victories. She was named Northwest Conference Swimmer of the Year on the women's side. Um, and tremendous, tremendous performance for her. You know, broke 24 in the 50 free for the first time and went a 23-8. Uh, went 52-3 in her 100 freestyle. Um, and she's always been a phenomenal sprinter, but even showed up in the 200 free and won that, which is traditionally more of a middle distance event. She went 154 in that. Um, so great, great swims for Carly, and I couldn't be happier for her. I mean, what a way to go out as a senior. Was there a, a performance on the women's side that maybe flew under the radar for those looking in from the outside, but for you really stood out? Yeah, yeah. So a spectator looking at Shamel uh, in the 100 Butterfly. Shamel's a freshman for us this year. Uh, and she has been on a plateau with a hundred butterfly for several years, you know, knocking on the door, double O, double O, double O. Even at dual meets this year, you would watch her swim. She'd go double O, one or one. It had been like that for two or three years. She's been trying to bust through this wall and she did that at the meet. She ended up going 59, seven, you know, the casual observer would be like big deal, three tenths of a second, but that three tenths of a second is huge. Um, you know, that's something that she had wanted for a long time, and so it felt really good for her. Uh, the Pirate Men finish in second place. A very, very close uh, competition against the Whitman Blues. Uh, came up about 14 points short. Mm -hmm. um, again, a couple of really strong individual performances from uh, a few of the Pirates, but uh, Zach Washburn getting swimmer of the meat on the men's side. Uh, take us back through Whitworth's performance for the men. Yeah, great performance for the men. Um, you know, virtually all of them contributed in some way. Uh, 15 men went into the meet, 14 of the 15 scored. Um, you know, improve on seeds, lifetime best times across the board. Zach had a phenomenal meet. Uh, went a, a 20 flat in the 50 free, which broke the conference record in that. Uh, it's the second fastest time in Division Three this week. Um, so it's right at the top of, of the board, and that should get him into nationals. And so super excited for him. Uh, did the same thing in the 100 free. Went a, a 44 flat in the 100 free, uh, which again broke a conference record. Uh, and then his third event uh, was breaststroke. Uh, we put him in that because we were thinking that maybe we could get a win in that event. It's not something that he normally has swum up to this point in his career. Um, and he was able to pull off the victory in that too. So just like Carly, he ended up being Northwest Conference uh, Swimmer of the Year, and uh, it was well deserved. Uh, a good performance for Brody Fazer, earning yeah. Freshman of the Year, or Rookie of the Year on the men's side. Talk about that. Yeah, uh, Brody had an incredible freshman year. Uh, every time he stepped into the pool and competed, uh, he kept improving, and it was like that every single meet through the year. Um, and it's really almost like a, a head shaking type of thing when you look at what his times were as a high school senior and what they are now after his freshman year. And he made big strides. I mean, he was, um, you know, I think six second plus best time from high school to now in his 200 IM. Um, you know, his 200 breaststroke, it was the same way. He won that at the conference meet with a 205. I think as a high school senior, he was 212. And, uh, in the sport of swimming, that's a lot of time. I mean, when you're dropping five, six, seven, to seven seconds in a two-minute race, that's pretty significant. Um, he had a great, great year. So now coming up, NCAA championships, and it looks like um, Zach will be our only performer at that meet. So talk about what you and Zach are going to do for the next few weeks to prepare for that. Yep. 
So we came back from the meet, gave him the day off so he could get caught back up on studies and just kind of regroup and recharge a little bit. And then yesterday, found our way back into the pool. And uh, the team is great. They've all kind of signed up for shifts uh, to come in and work out with him so he's not on his own for the next month. Uh, and so he's going to have training partners sort of all the way through. And then Christine and I will be, um, you know, coaching him up. Uh, it'll be a lot of sprint practices, a lot of fast twitch anaerobic power type stuff because that's his best events. I mean, we'll be going there for the 50 and 100 free, and we're trying to figure out this week what that third event will be. So.